good morning students in the last class we have discussed about the physical facility and the relationship for physical for a human being physical facility is not the ultimate thing so we have to uh, coordinate how to assign uh, the priority for the relationship or physical facility so in that what is required is a right understanding in the natural acceptance you have to verify on your own rights and you have to uh, tell that whether it is required or not so that it depends upon a person to person right understanding is also essential for a human being so right understanding in the self mainly there are four levels we are having as of uh, as uh, human beings are considered self uh, then uh, we are having a family a society and nature so right understanding is required in all parts the relationship with the human being the physical facility and the rest of the nature for animals uh, uh, physical facility is necessary and it is largely adequate but for human beings uh, it is necessary but it is not adequate that means we want to accumulate more and more amount of physical facility so that is what we are working all the three are required is something redundant or is there anything required more are we working on all three working on higher priority makes it easier to deal with the lower priority so we have to categorize we have to prioritize which one is important right and see the numbers 1 2 3 represent right understanding is the first priority we have to give the second one is called as a relationship for relationship the feelings are important trust respect gratitude like that the feelings are important then the third one is a physical facility with the rest of the nature so for animals necessary and largely adequate but for human beings it is necessary but it is not adequate so the mutual happiness and mutual prosperity will come only if we prioritize if we give first priority for the right understanding second priority we have to give for relationship and third priority for the physical facility suppose if we give in the reverse order if we give the first priority for the physical facility and the second priority for the relationship and third for right understanding then we ended up with a sorrow we are not having mutual prosperity right so the desirable state is equal to fulfilling life so if we live with all the three right understanding relationship and physical facility in the priority order then we are living with continuous happiness human being can be fulfilled be happy and prosperous on the basis of these three so this question mark represents we are giving only prime importance for the physical facility we want to have more profit we want to have more money we want to have more house we want to have lots and lots of physical facility we are not at all enough with it so always we are searching something unknowingly we don't know why we are searching why we are accumulating so it always ended up with the deprivation exploiting and deprivating others so it leads to unhappiness and making others happy so uh, making uh, others also unhappy if you are not meeting any relationship good relationship then we are we are happy we are we are not happy and we are making others also happy so that is the current state now we are having so if we uh, our living is only for the physical facility then this is the situation so that is the current state but we have to move towards the desirable state uh, is equal to living in harmony that is program to fulfill basic human aspiration so the basic human aspiration is a right understanding relationship and the third priority we have to give for the physical facility so we are living in harmony with the human beings living in harmony with the rest of the nature also not only with the human human being if we are having relationship with the human being then we are living in harmony with the human being if we are having priority less priority for physical facility then we can make the rest of the nature also whatever it is available in the nature living things non living things everything that is occurring in the nature also we can live with the happiness we can live with the harmony so that leads to mutual happiness and mutual prosperity so understanding harmony is harmony in the human being that is self harmony in the family harmony in the society harmony in the nature or existence so living in harmony at all four levels as 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 i said pre previously that all four levels are self for the individual second level is called as a family third level is called as society and the fourth level is called as a nature and existence so in the first level if we change first level means within self within self if we are having right understanding then automatically all the three levels will slowly and gradually change and we can bring happiness in the rest of the nature so happiness is equal to to be in harmony unhappiness is equal to to be forced in a state of contraction always we are having contractions or 
uh, we are having uh, confusions or we are having the opposition all these things are coming only because of unhappiness so prosperity is the feeling of having more than the required physical facility a prosperous person can think of a right utilization nurturing the other nurturing means we can help the others we can give the others if i am having more than the required so this transformation is very very important the transformation leads to holistic development from 1 to 3 given to physical priority second one for relationship and third one for right understanding so we, we ended up with the deprivation and unhappiness that is the current state now we have to move to the right understanding relationship and the physical facility first priority we have to give for right understanding so which will lead to the mutual happiness mutual prosperity so this transformation is very very important for making the happiness and harmony continuous happiness and harmony with the human being with the family with the society with the uh, nature and the rest of the nature everything we can do with this transformation so we have to move towards this transformation to bring the holistic perspective so we have to bring we include in all aspects of our life so we have to take a list now i am going to give one assignment so in that assignment what we have to do is we have to take a list of aspiration that aspiration is fulfilling for right understanding relationship and uh, physical facility suppose now i am writing first one is i want to go to temple so that means it comes under right understanding or relationship or physical facility second aspiration is suppose i want to go for a um, all india tour that is one of my aspiration then another thing is i want to purchase a sari i want to purchase a, a gold ornament i want to purchase a home so all these things like that basic aspirations we can sort out you take a paper and list out your aspirations aims whatever goal you are having and we can put an effort on whether it is coming under physical facility relationship or right understanding so if we take and do this exercise then we can uh, realize where we are where we are where, what we are what transformation is required that is important thank you students